Hey everyone, so I wanted to go ahead and um, release this video today uh, with regards to what happened with Apple the past few weeks. Um, they released an iOS 13.5 update, uh, which we know you could jailbreak with Uncovered. Then they released iOS 13.5.1 jailbreak, um, and so CheckRain came out with a jailbreak for that. However, CheckRain in typical fashion, they released it for the Mac OS. Um, so some of us uh, still use a Windows. Um, we haven't went on the uh, the route to the Mac OS yet. Um, we still prefer to use our Windows. Um, so I was just doing a little digging to see if there's a way that I could jailbreak my 13.5.1 on Windows. Um, and uh, I found a way to actually do it. Um, so there's this nice tool called Checknix that um, was released recently. Um, and I'm going to put all the links in the description. Um, but before we start, you're going to need Bellina Etcher. So what you want to do is go on the website for Bellina.io forward slash Etcher. Um, and then you want to download it for your specific PC. Um, I have a 64-bit. Um, actually, it looks like it's just for 64-bit. So you want to download that product. Um, I already have it downloaded, but... Um, basically, you're going to get that downloaded. And then you're also going to go on the CheckNix uh, website. And I'm going to put the link in the description. Um, but it's asnet.gq forward slash CheckNix. And then you want to go to the downloads. Um, so the big thing here is that if you notice, there is the CheckNix uh, dash 1.0.6. And it's AMD 64 ISO. So I'm actually running an Intel Windows computer. Um, and this actually worked for my Intel. Um, and I'll show you in a moment what it looks like when you run it on Windows. Um, on the Intel. But it's um, interesting because it does work. You might not be able to uh, necessarily read certain areas of the coding. Um, but that's okay because you can. it's still it's very very well usable um <clears throat> and this was the only um iso file i could find that would allow us to jailbreak on 13.5.1 so that's why i decided to release a video because i've been looking for about a week or two and I, I can't find any other tutorials or anything on youtube so you're gonna click on it um and then you're gonna also save this file all right so the next step is very simple um we have Bellina Etcher. we have the file downloaded you just um double click here you open the uh, app obviously and then you're gonna select your image which is the Checknix um, and then you're gonna need a USB so um, you know you're gonna decide you know which one is your USB after you plug it in you find the USB um, you already have your image selected the USB and then you're gonna actually hit flash again I've already done this uh, this step so I'm not gonna do it again obviously um, but I'm gonna show you what it looks like from the reboot screen um, for this video. So after you do this, um, you're going to go ahead and reboot your device and make sure your um, Apple iPhone is connected to your computer. Now you're going to go ahead and boot your device um, and Basically, you're going to hit F12 to bring up the, the boot menu. I'm not sure how your device is set up, but this is a gateway computer, so I have to go to F12. Okay, and then it's going to show you something with um, a variation kind of like this, this little box right here. And what you have to do is you have to find which one is your USB. So I believe the device, it's going to be something along the name of like Kingston or something, because I, I didn't name mine Kingston. I think that's how it comes when you um, flash it that way. Um, so this is actually my Windows file, this is the USB file, not sure what this is at all, uh, what these last two options are, but this is probably enter, like, boot setup, but, um, you wanna hit enter here, and what it's gonna do is it's gonna say welcome to Grub up here, and then it's gonna, um, load the, um, the files necessary to the jailbreak, um, and... The biggest thing, obviously, the biggest takeaway here is that you have to remember I have an Intel computer, so some things might show up kind of weird, like the coding on. I think this is the Trek Rain logo, like it looks pretty weird. 
um, which makes sense, obviously, because this is an AMD flash that um, I have so filed that I used on my Intel. Um, but it does work and it does jailbreak it. Um, so then what you do next is you want to, um, before you actually do that, before you do anything, you actually want to go to options right here. And what you want to do when you go to options, you want to make sure you hit allow untested iOS, iPad, TV, OS um, versions. This is very important. Um, the reason we do that is because if you don't, it's going to it's gonna tell you iOS 13.5.1 is not supported. Um, and it won't let you continue. But if you do that, it's going to say, okay, go ahead. You can do iOS 13.5.1 at your own risk. And we know for a fact it does work. Um, then what you want to do is um, go ahead and connect your iPhone now to the computer um, and you'll actually have the device powered on and what it's going to do is it's going to allow you now to hit the start. Obviously my device is not connected because I'm trying to record this video but if it were it would allow me to hit the start button and basically you do hit the start button and it actually walks you through it. I believe um, the first step is it's going to make you enter DFU mode um, and from there it's actually self-explanatory. Um, it's going to go ahead and loot, uh, load up the jailbreak on your phone and um, it does completely work for iOS 13.5.1 uh, 13 